Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to touch base with you about a new pretty cool tool that we've got. Um, if you've watched my other videos, we've talked a lot about how depth of plates is really critical to the process of pad planing. And <clears throat> what you're always looking for, if you were just to do a thick steel plate or a thin steel plate, is an etch, I don't know if you can see it, mm -hmm. but an etch that's um, 25 microns deep, so a thousandth of an inch deep, plus or minus a little bit. And then that's for the basic one, but then if you move to a photopolymer plate, um, what you, when you put the line screen into the plate, the etch has to be deeper uh, so that it gives you enough ink volume. So what you've got with a, with a line screen is this is the etch. You have a bunch of little mountains in there. And so to get 25 microns of depth with the hills, you've gotta be about 45 microns deep in order to get the total same ink volume. So the problem with that is trying to measure any of these things other than based on the fact that you've run it through the etcher a certain amount of times or for instance if you were using a one-step plate, this is a single step no um, line screen photopolymer, it etches exactly to 30 microns or if you're using a laser plate that etched to the backing you would know how deep it was because it etched off the laminate to that, to that depth. But in any case it's the way that most of these are measured most of the time at this point is with a depth measuring microscope. So you've just got a, a microscope and you tune into the bottom of the etch, you clear the gauge and you come back up. It's very hard to get into any of these with a, uh, with a drop gauge or something like that. You just can't get the accuracy that you need. So we procured one of these, which is a Hummel uh, or a GenOptic um, mobile roughness measuring instrument. So it's a brand new toy that just came in. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's pretty cool. It's got a, a Bluetooth uh, probe, and you've got this probe here that it flexes. And there's the tip there. And what happens is, is that when I start the, with a button, the probe retracts, and it'll go across this etch, and then it'll display it on the screen and give you a printout. So as we move forward here, as we get everybody trained, we're going to move from a depth measuring microscope, which we still will use to inspect the image quality itself, but we can check um, in a real way the, um, the depth of the plate. So I'm going to just set this up right here, right on the edge. And we know that this is a one-step plate. We know that it etches 30 microns deep when we do that. And you just hit start. And if you look really closely, the probe starts to move. And then up on the screen here, you can see it drawing it out, which is pretty cool. We now know that that letter that we just went through is that deep. And then it's going to, it, the probe comes back out, but up here, what happens is, is it's loading via Bluetooth, and then it's gonna give me a much bigger profile. So now I can really see. So it, it's, um, it's running from about, uh, what is that, minus? Two. Minus, well, it's minus well, two, minus, minus five. So minus six down to about 37. So from the top of that to the bottom is 30 microns of depth, which is what we're looking for. And then you're seeing variation on the top here, but we're talking about a couple of microns, which would be normal. It's just very, very fine gauge. And then we can print this out for you. So every single one is gonna come out with a actual printout of the area we measured. So when we say it's 30 microns deep or 25 microns deep, you'll be able to see that it actually is the case. And what that should do is clear up some of the questions people have sometimes. Oh, is it the plate? Is it my ink mix? Is it my pad? Um, because we get questions about plate depth sometimes and people uh, aren't sure where we are. Well, now we'll have, we'll have all of that. You'll have all of that for your files. If you're a medical company, you'll have something that you can put away and say that it's working. Um, and we'll have a retained copy here so that next time if you need a new plate, we can do our best to match that. So that's it today. Uh, just thought uh, everybody would be interested in the new toy. Thank you.